Hey guys, it's Ren, and today I am bringing all of you a video on how to get Infinite Souls in Dark Souls 3 in 2021. Now, I've tested this and this is working on the current patch, so let's get into it. Now, I should give a disclaimer that this isn't actually a Souls dupe glitch, as there are none on the current patch of Dark Souls 3. Instead, we're going to be utilizing a duplication of the Titanite slabs through Zigward of Katarina's questline, which is what we're doing right here. So if you already know how to do Zigward of Katarina's questline, then you can just skip to the time mark. Then you can just skip to the timestamp on the top of the video. Then you can just skip to the timestamp that is on the video right now. You're first going to meet Zigward in the Undead Settlement, over near the tower. He's, the elevator is going to go up right when you get there, talk to him, and then take the elevator down. Then you're going to take the elevator back up, and then you're going to go onto the elevator and then go off it. Then another elevator will come down, and you're going to go up that one. Now up that one, you're going to notice a ledge that you can go onto, and, uh, hmm. You're going to jump off of this ledge, and then make your way over to see Zigward sitting down. From there, make your way to fight the fire demon, and Zigward will come and help you as well. Then you're going to talk to Zigward and exhaust all of his dialogue, and then we're going to move on to his next location. His next location will be in the Cathedral of the Deep, at a well after you've defeated the Deacons of the Deep, and opened up the giant door. Now you're going to have to go and find patches in the Cathedral of the Deep, which you can find them a bit easier by using the unlocked door. You'll see Zigward's armor set, which is actually patches in disguise. You're going to talk to him and then cross the bridge. I know, I know. <laughs> Shame on you, you greedy guts. Thought you could outwit none you. Well. Say hello to the nice giant. He adores visitors. <laughs> now this is where it can get a bit tricky because this is where some people get confused on what you have to do. There's two ways you can do it. My way is of course is of course taking the alternate route to go over the cathedral roof and then drop down like you're going to the Rosaria's Finger Covenant, which you will run into Zig which you will run into patches pretty easily. Then all you have to do is just talk to him and then just buy the armor off him. The other way is by buying the tower key and then talking to him in Firelink Shrine, but come on, this way is easier and cheaper. Then once you got the armor, go back to the well and give it to him. Next you're gonna want to make your way to the to the Irithal of Burial Valley and go through the sewer system. Now don't go to the profane capital or else his quest line will end. So make sure that you talk to him over here and sit down and have some Estes soup. Excuse me, I I must have dozed off. It's rather warm in here. Well, well, hasn't it been all too long? It's good to see you. Oh, I seem to have missed I, Siegfried of Katarina, and a little surprise. I, I to, no. <laughs> now, before you go to the profane capital, Make sure that you take the route that I'm using to get the old cell key. Because Zigward is locked up in the profane capital behind a cell and you're going to need this key in order to free him. Once you have the cell key, make your way to the profane capital and then just follow the path that I'm taking and you and then you will be able to open up the cell to save Zigward.
Now, do not talk to him. If you talk to him, he's going to give you the Titanite slab, which is what we need. But we need to duplicate this, so we're actually not going to talk to him. We're just going to go and kill him. And once you kill him, pick up his weapons, pick up his armor, but don't pick up the Titanite slab. Now we're going to make a long run all the way up to the Church of Yorshka bonfire without warping, saving and quitting, or dying. Once you've made it back to the Church of Yorshka Bonfire, you're going to make a loop around the bonfire, run outside to this corpse here, and then you're going to make and then you're going to do that as many times as you can or desire because every run around unloads and reloads Ziggurat's questline items that the game wants to make sure that you get, and the more times that you do this, the more times it reloads the items to stack it. And you can do this as many times as you want, making it basically infinite. Once you've gotten it to your desire or as much as you can, then you're going to want to run all the way back to Zigward's cell again without saving, quitting, dying, or warp. Now once you made it to the cell, grab all the Titanite slabs that you want. But if you're going to do this again, make sure that you save at least one Titanite slab. The best way to know is just by counting how many rotations you outside the Church of Yorshka bonfire, just to make it easier on yourself. Now for the moment we've been waiting for, go to a merchant and sell your titanite slabs and bada bing bada boom that is not only how you get infinite souls in dark souls 3 but also infinite titanite slabs as well so it's a pretty cool two in one that that is really helpful and works on the latest patch of dark souls 3 this glitch was of course not found by me i instead saw it on a video made by phobia thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and if you want more souls duplication content be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all of my content. Also make sure to share this video with all of your friends. And I have been Ren Creates, and good luck out there Chosen Undead. I'm rooting for you.